Hello everyone, in this video we are going to show the cuts in the screen. First I want to mention that the cut actually won't be a prefab, because it will not extend the prefab class. To properly show the cuts we are going to use phaser.graphics, which allow us to draw lines on the screen. So first, the cut class will extend phaser.graphics, and we will do the same thing as any prefab in the constructor. So it will save it the game state, its name, add itself to the groups, and add itself to the prefabs in the game state. Then we will use phaser.graphics to draw a line corresponding to the cut. So first we have to set the line color with begin fill. So we call begin fill, pass in the properties, style.color. Then we set the line width, border color and alpha with line style. line width, then the border color, this color is different from this one, and the alpha value. Notice that we are assuming that all these values are available in the cut properties. In the end, we use the methods move to and line to from Fraser.graphics to create a line from the swipe start point to the end point. So we call move to which will move the graphics object to the point we tell it to do. So we want to move it to the start point of the swipe. And then we call line2, which will draw a line from its current point, which is the start point, to the point we, we send to the line2 method, which will be the end of the swipe. Okay. There is still something we have to do. The cut should be killed after some seconds, so we are going to create, create a timer which will be called after fixed number of seconds and we will call the kill method. So here we create the timer. And add an event. After a number of seconds given in the properties object and this this we'll call the kill method and we start this timer okay now we have to create the kill method in the kill method we have to clear the graphics so it will delete end line creator so we clear it and call the Q method from phaser graphics. Okay, now that we have the cut class, let's change our level state to actually create the cuts. This will be done in the swipe method. So here in the end swipe method. After checking for the swipe length, we have to create the cut. So we do that we do that by passing the group, start position, end position, duration and style. So the cut will be a new fruit ninja cut. We have the game state, the name which will be simply cut. Its position will be zero because what matters is the start position of the swipe. The group will be cuts. The start will be the start swipe point. Then will be the end swipe point. We will set a duration of 0 0.3 seconds but you can change it to any other value if you prefer. And the style will come from another object. This dot cut style. Notice that we use object.create to send a copy of the cut style instead of the reference. This way if you change the style of one cut it won't affect the other ones. So finally, we have to create this cut, cut style property here in the lab state. So 
So cut style will be an object with the line width, which I'll set 5, the color, this is some kind of red, and the alpha value. Feel free to use the values you think work better here. Also, notice that in the label, JSON file you have to add the group cuts. So you can create the cuts in this group right here. So now let's try creating some cuts to check if they are working correctly. It seems that there is an error in the level state line 78. Well, let's check it. Oh. There is a missing parenthesis here. Now it should work. Yeah. Okay. So, see, we can create the cuts now. Different directions, vertical, horizontal, down, up, up, down, left, right, right, left, diagonally. Okay, it's working. So, to summarize, we created a class extending phaser.graphics to show the cuts. The cut object uses the phaser.graphics methods to draw a line corresponding to the swipe in the screen. Then, we change the level stage to create the cuts. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching.